Okay. Okay. Not really, but yeah. One more minute. One more minute. No, we don't have a sound stand. I think it's in your car. This is the dream of J.H. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, should I read it? Yeah, read it. please. Okay. First of all, I stopped at this event, at this big shopping center, and this man was giving a talk on computers. He had a little stand set up against the wall. He had this talk scheduled or something. And I thought I might learn something, so I said, yeah, I'm in. And a number of us just stood there while he talked. Well, when it was over, everybody started breaking up and going their way, and I woke up. And I thought, oh, God, I missed the talk. I fell asleep. So, of course, I was embarrassed. Thought, oh, God, I wonder if he saw me sleeping. I hope I didn't offend him. I hope I didn't embarrass myself, snore, and who knows. So everyone had gone their way, and I was pretty much the only one left there. I asked him a few questions about, I don't know what, just to kind of make it seem like I was still interested. I didn't want him to think I was totally uninterested or so, but I was so uninterested, so I walked away. And as I was leaving the shopping center area, I saw one guy who I thought was there, and I said, hey, did you catch that talk? And I, I said, so what was it? And he didn't answer at first. And I said, well, was it interesting? Was it a talk about what the machine could do, or was it about where to buy it? Or, and I don't remember what he said, but he answered a few things. But again, I found myself wanting to... I thought he was offended or turned off by my question and turned off by the whole situation that I had to ask him what it was about, that I had been there and fallen asleep because I had told him I had been there and fallen asleep. He said a few things but didn't have a lot to say. And I don't know, it was the whole issue of feeling like I needed to be not offensive towards him. Anyway, so then I was, maybe we were walking while we were talking we ran into somebody else who was there, and so, I don't know, it was just like trying to keep this schmoozing going on or something. So anyway, then I left. That's good. <laughs> That's all. Okay. Okay. What do you make of it? Oh, it's just, I think it's just sickening. I'm just like, where? I mean, my whole motive is to just get involved with these people who I then have to worry about not offending and I'm totally offended by them and not interested in them but I think I could learn something so that's good yeah Yeah, but it has nothing to do with the dream oh what do you make of the dream of the dream. Yeah, the content of the dream. What's the problem? I thought I was talking about the content. What's the problem? I am worried about what somebody else is thinking of me. More. And I don't want them to think something. Mm. So... Something of you. What do you do? So, 
and get involved with them. No. Um, We're looking for the problem. So it's uh -huh. not what you're saying is not true. Right. Not okay. Uh, I don't want them to think something of me. So I pretend yes. that I'm something? Yeah, what? I pretend that I'm interested. And then what you do is a consequence in the dream. And then I walk away. That's true, but it's not worthwhile. Stay in the mm. dream as a problem. You're looking for the problem, so. Look, keep, keep with the point. So. Okay. Because of this, mm -hmm. I do this. That results in, come on, conclusion. Okay. As a result. As a result. Are you successful in what you decide to do with this situation, which you agree? is pretending. Let me put it simply. Hey, what do you get for pretending? An interaction? Again, that's right. But it's not close to what's going on. I get a hope. <laughs> I hope I haven't offended them. Get a hope. Yeah, so uh, go ahead. You hope your pretending will work. Right, right. I hope my pretending will work. Pardon me. Did you have a goal in the first paragraph, right, in the first? I thought I might learn something. Yeah, that's your goal. Okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Here I, you are. I didn't learn anything. I thought I might learn something. Now, this is either particular to your dream or grabbed onto the nature of your problem. That's what we want to see. So what happened? That's your goal. Was it successful? Did you learn something? I fell asleep. Pardon me. I know you fell asleep. Did you end up learning something? Was it successful? No. Oh, it's a failure. Yeah. Ah, thank you. Now, this whole strategy of yours is a failure. Yeah. What do you think of that? Well... What failed? What was the source of the failure? Hmm. The source of the failure. Hmm. Um... Well, okay. I don't know. I mean, we stood there and listened. It was afterwards that I fell asleep, apparently. We stood there while he... Oh, well, what was the source of my failure? Um, I have no idea. But I didn't even mention it in here. It was the people just broke up and went their way afterwards, and we... St I can't. Just what, standing there seems to be the important true, thing. But it doesn't help us understand the problem that the dream is presenting for you. Okay, well, when I copied this out, it was like when I went, a number of us just stood there. That seemed to be the important part, that we stood there and went through the motions of listening to him. That was 
that was the not the problem. Right, but that's what we did. And so we, we, we like went through the motions of stand. There weren't even chairs. It was like a shopping center and it was like a little kind of a sideshow or something. You wanted to learn something. This guy yeah. presumably has something you want to learn. Right. You fall asleep. All right. Okay. Now you want to see whether you can recover. Agree? What you missed. Yeah. Agree? So yeah, what yeah. do you do? Come on. What is your strategy okay. to recover what it is you missed? Tell me. I um I asked him a few questions to to that's make it true. seem like But pardon. Me. Yeah. That's not the problem. That's not you the have problem. It here. Yeah. <clears throat> I pretended I'm something. I pretended right. I was there. I pretended something. I didn't right. want to say I was asleep. Is that right? Yes or no? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. You couldn't be honest and say, hey, I was at the chalk, I fell asleep. You couldn't be honest. Right. Rather, you pretended something. What did you pretend? That you were there. Yeah. Yeah. And now all you have is a couple of questions that you want answered. Look at the kinds of questions that you're asking to recover what was going on in his talk. Grade them. Well, I'm not interested in getting content. I'm interested in making him think that I'm still interested. Just uh, says I asked him a few questions about I don't know what, just to kind of make it seem like I was still interested. Well, you're asking me grade the questions about the specific questions. Here they are. There's copies of the dream over there, next to the computer. Hi. Eggmar is asking that you read the questions that you did ask him. I didn't, I didn't mention them. No, it's right there in your paper. I think you have a copy here. Here. Did you not ask him, was it interesting? Oh, no, that was somebody else as I was leaving the shopping center. Okay, this someone else asked this. No, I asked it of somebody else outside of the shopping center when I was leaving. Were they there? I at thought the they truck. had been there. You thought they were. Mm -hmm. This is the question you asked. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the kind of question that would get you to the content of his speech? Was it interesting? Louder. I have no idea. Would that tell you something about what he said, or would that be getting a report from them or that person of whether or not they thought it was interesting? Yeah, it'd be from them, whether they thought it was interesting. But that wouldn't tell you anything about the talk. No. That would tell you about what, how they felt about the talk. Right. So therefore, what do you think of the questions you pose to them if your goal is to learn something about the talk? Ridiculous. Good. Keep going. But, but, but Pierre, th there's one question that's not mentioned up there. Yeah. It, right? Like if you look at the top of the paragraph, second line, what was it? I mean, if she had pursued that one, wouldn't that have... She didn't. But. Read it, please, Julie. You see it, Julie? Yeah. Please read it. As I was leaving, I saw one guy, and I said, hey, did you catch that talk? So what was it? So what was it? Did you get well, it? Was it interesting? Was it a talk no, no, about a machine? Keep reading. keep reading after what was it. What was it? And he was kind of put off for a second 
like, what are you asking me about that for? And he didn't answer at first. And I said, well, was it interesting? Okay. Yeah. So she, you dropped the question. You want it to? No, no, I'm just saying. No, 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 please, I'm not putting it down. You have an a, a approach. Please take over. No, 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 you already started doing work. I just uh, want to point out, I, I just, before, before we, <clears throat> listen, I was sitting here and you were saying, judge your questions, and it looked to me like we were saying, hey, there are shitty questions, right? You're not, right? Julie gets an F for asking questions. And I didn't want to let that image go by without saying, there is a good question there, it just wasn't pursued. Sorry. That should be me to determine since well, it's my dream. Well, I appreciate you're coming to bat for me, but I didn't, I wasn't offended personally, and I, I don't think, I didn't take it like you did. Okay, I'm not. So maybe but, we can just do aside it. Aside from that, it uh -huh. was asked, right? Yeah. There was a question in the dream. And we're supposed to study dreams. So. Whether or not you took it personally. Okay. <laughs> well, um. Oh, thank you. So. So what was it, I asked him. Okay. So what was it? I mean, that's pretty broad. He knows you were at the event. And you're asking these questions. Yeah. What do you think of the questions that you are asking? <clears throat> so, they are, um, strange questions. Um, I mean, okay. Again, yeah. <laughs> if you are there to learn something, yeah. and now for whatever reason you mm -hmm. were in presence, are your questions designed to get you answers to this? If he knows that you were there, he knows you were there, so you're asking, what was it? Or was it interesting? Yeah, th these are questions which would tap into his perceptual framework, but it doesn't get... I'm not stating a question I have or a specific thing I want him to address, and so there's strange questions. Are you pretending something? Yeah, pretending something, yeah. yeah you're pretending that you were there and listening? You're not a volunteering, hey, the reason I'm asking these questions, I fell asleep during the meeting and I'd like to see if I can find out what went on. No, I'm not. That's the truth. Well, although, no, I... Right? We're interested... I had told him that. I did tell him that. We're interested in the strategy you're using okay. to recover something that you weren't aware of, right? Mm -hmm. Would you agree you're putting on a mask? Well, I did tell him that I had fallen asleep there. Where? Um, after this, I say, well, was it interesting? Was it a talk about what the machine could do, or was it about where to buy it, or what? And I don't remember what he said, but he answered a few things. But again, I found myself wanting to, I thought he was offended or turned off by my question and turned off by the whole situation, that I had to ask him what it was about, that I had been there and fallen asleep because I had told him I had been there and, and fallen asleep. And he said a few things but okay, didn't have her. a lot to say. Would you agree then, follow this one, look here. You were engaged with him for a while. Yeah. Then you told him why you were asking the questions. I was asleep, is that right? Yeah. So at that moment, please, you dropped the pretense. Mm -hmm. Now, we're after states of mind. We're after what is it like when you played the game of make-believe and when you told the truth. See, these are states of mind. That's why I'm asking these questions. Mm -hmm. All right. After that, please read on. Um... And I don't know, it was the whole issue of feeling like 
I needed to not be offensive towards him. Anyway, so then I okay, was... Wait a minute. You are revealing your motives now, are you not? Yeah. In a dream. Mm -hmm. Right? So, now, look here. I have a worry. Right? What's your worry? Being maybe, offensive toward him. Maybe I am being offensive. Mm -hmm. Right? What does that do to you? This is a, right, a third state of mind. Yeah, worried about the, mm -hmm, making sure I, that I need to not be offensive toward him, yeah. Was there anything that you saw that you were doing that you would label being offensive? Yeah, telling him that I had fallen asleep, sharing with him that Thank story. You, right? Yeah. Revealing this. Right. Right? Revealing that mm -hmm. you judge. That's being offensive. Telling him about my, the situation. Yeah. Right? Yes or no? Yeah. Right? See, we're looking at your motivation in the dream, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now, being in that state of mind, what follows from that? Well, so then maybe we were walking while we were talking. We ran into somebody else who was there. And so, I don't know, it was just like trying to keep this schmoozing going on or something. What does that mean? That means... Keep the schmoozing going on. I judged it all as empty chatting. So then you, it then turned into empty chatting. Is that right? I judged it as that, and it then I left. Because it seemed like it was going nowhere. Look, at, that's the consequence of the state you were in. Four yeah. states of mind. Okay, right. Right? Yeah. Now, what do you think of this? Come on, one, two, three, four. Um. So, the way to answer that is to now tell us what it was like when you saw you were pretending to have been there. What's that like? What was that like in the dream at that time? Well, I wasn't aware of that. Pardon? I wasn't aware of that I was pretending. Pardon? <laughs> That's worthwhile. Yeah, I wasn't aware of it. I'm aware of it now when you ask about it. Well, then what was it like? That that's how I was functioning. Yeah. I was yeah. So what was it like functioning this way, uh -huh. even though you didn't put this name on it? What was it like functioning in this I way? I think it's pretty creepy. Creepy. More, please. It's like, what a waste. What? It's a waste. That's, uh, that's, all, that, that's the consequence. Stay on creepy. What else is it like? Come on, in the dream. Well, first of all, the first paragraph where I say, and I thought I might learn something. I have done things with that same kind of thinking, and it's always a waste. Because That's why this dream is important. Right. We hope. My it's like I get lured into stuff. I'll even buy tapes and things thinking I might learn something. And then I never listen to them or... Look at It's this is, this, weird. Your dream is about this. Yeah. So when I asked you what was it like the, the way you were functioning that we call pretending, you said creepy. Anything else? Come on. That word. Um, phony. Huh? Phony. Yeah, okay, that's a, calling it a name. I'll take it though um, because you get whatever you can get. Well, it's vague. What? Beg. 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 Um, I feel like I'm a cheerleader. Like I, I'm 
cheerleader. Like I'm, Thank you. I'm kind of going in there to root for the underdog or show him some support because his title is so vague I have no idea what he's going to be talking about. Okay. And yeah. so I have no idea what I'll be learning about, so I'll join him. <laughs> Look and here. waste my Second time. Second state of mind. Okay. When you told him you were asleep, you revealed it. What was that like in the dream? Well, I, I don't remember telling him that. I just remember my realizing I had already told him that. And so I, I felt... You're revealing something. Yeah, I revealed that a bad side of myself. I, I revealed to him um, <laughs> that I was um, You were revealing a bad side of yourself. What was yeah. that like? In the dream. See, I'm not asking about any other time. Well, it led to my feeling regretting that I had offended him, that I thought he, um, I, was, I was reluctant to ask him any questions after revealing that because I thought he was offended and by my having revealed that, so. Okay, good, thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. Okay, same thing now. Then you have the worry. And that's tied into this, isn't it? That maybe I am offending him, right? Mm -hmm. They're connected. Yeah. So two and three are connected, right? Good. What was it like then during the uh, end, the empty chatting? Well, it, it was just uh, uh, another person we had run into who we thought was there, who I thought was there. And, what was uh, it like? I mean, come on, psychically, emotionally, state of mind. Um, Here you wanted to like visit your an goal ally and you end up ch empty, chattering away. Well, we didn't, I don't remember the chattering. I just remember that seeing another person was like getting another ally, getting somebody. Did it work out? Um, no. No. And then I dismissed it as just then I dismissed schmoozing. It. Okay? Yeah. What's that like? Come on. I dismissed it. That dismissed your whole learning quest. The whole, yeah. What is that like? Since you've been there many times before. It feels it's good. Important. It feels like I'm putting closure on it. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd like to know what it's like, but I'll write it down. Well, it's like over now. It feels like that's over. Now I can go to the next. Go to the next. Okay, that's thing. good. Thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. What do we find here that's worth reflecting on now? Come on. What would you say is the problem now that you're putting in states of mind? Mm. What does it reveal? Now, you're not going to be able to answer this, yeah. even though it's there. So forget what I just said. Tell me, what do you make of it? I don't know, it seems like this is a big thing for me. Yeah, that's why I said it's what I said. It's a big thing for me. Yeah, you're um, not going to see it, though you want to see it. So I want to challenge it. Come on, what do you see there? What's going on? You got it all there. Okay, by that I mean, in your dream you're seeing your essential motive, that's dominating your life in the dream 
that ends your quest for learning. What is it? So, when you interact with others to get it is what you want to know. Okay, let's go back. Okay? Hey, it's stage one. How's everything going? Want to join him like a cheerleader, right? Even though there's a certain aspect of it that is vague and creepy and maybe phony, but nonetheless, you want to get in? Right? Well, even though I, I have no idea what he's going to be talking about, right, I right, have no right. idea what I think I could learn. But you're going along. Yeah, good. But I'm going to go along. Yeah. Like, and... Okay, so you're taking the challenge. To challenge what? What happened to it? Well, it's so vague, it's not, no, no, how no. can what you take that there? as a challenge? Sorry. Um, so I stand there with the others yeah, against yeah, this yeah. wall. It's there. Listen to them. It's there. And then they break up to leave and I What's wake up. What's the problem? Up. There. That I'm pretending I want to be listening to his talk. That's true. Standing there listening. That you are functioning. But then would you agree you give it up and share it? Share that I was That you were asleep? You tell them why it is you were, why you're asking the question. Yeah. Right? How's everything now? I ask him a few questions, the guy who had given the talk. And I ask him a few hey, questions. You're not answering the question in terms of what we have been developing, see? Yeah. Well, ex well, I'm asking him questions to give the impression that I'm interested in that's, something. Yeah. So that's, so that's pretend. Okay. That's okay. That's okay? Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Where's the problem? Does it work? What, what ruins your approach? I walk away. Hmm? Well, two things. I'm uninterested, and then I walk away. No. Okay, let's go back. Okay. okay. Say, what was it like when you told them you were asleep? You told them the truth, right? You got out of the this pretending stuff. Uh -huh. You told them the truth. The guy outside, I told the truth to. Yeah. Not the teacher. Yeah. What did that do to you? Um, it made me regret that I had told him. Because I, what did it do to I you? Because I thought he was offended by. Him Thank you. Say it again. I thought. When I tell the truth about why I'm asking, what does it do? It makes me think I've offended him. That's right. When you reveal your own, come on. Motive. No, no not your motives. Yeah, yes, your motives, but you're giving the reason for it. What's it like when you tell someone the truth about what you're going through? What does it do to you? Oh, I feel like I'm imposing on, upon them. Thank you. Say it again. I feel like I'm imposing my and, personal and life is, on them. And what does that do to you? I feel like I should say I'm sorry and yeah, stop talking. Yeah, you apologize and yeah. sorry for bringing up myself as a... Yeah. 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 What does that do? Oh, gosh. Makes me want to decline the call. Um, Come on. I feel bad for a while. I feel guilty then after yeah, having done after all, that. What, what did you do? You told them the truth about what was going on within you. Well, that, that'll offend the other person, won't it? Well, I mean, this was a perfect stranger. Yeah, but nonetheless, you, hey, uh, I, didn't I showed to... him the bad side of myself. Yeah. I dreaded uh, offending him. You saw it as offending him, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
What do you think of that now? Come on. You're telling the truth about yourself to someone, and that causes within you what? That you're sharing the dark side of yourself. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you fear, therefore, it may offend the person hearing about yourself. Therefore, you should never allow yourself to reveal yourself. Right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Because what follows then is yeah. doesn't count much. Cause... Yeah, what do you think of that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I know that strategy of yeah. discounting myself or... Yeah, this is, your stra this is your strategy, John. Yeah. Don't share anything about yourself that especially that's true because it may offend the other party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it's showing a bad side of yourself to tell about yourself. You're doing it now. You're sharing the truth oh. about yourself. Yeah. Right. Should, you shouldn't be doing that, should you? According to this dream. Yeah, right. But you're doing it. Mm -hmm. What's it doing to you? To see it. Hmm. Hmm. That's operating your whole life. Yeah. That's interesting. Oh, hmm. Why? Why? Why is it interesting? Well, Not just one at all. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I don't know why I've. Why I would think it's so offensive to tell somebody that I fell asleep, but I would. Yeah. And I wonder why. Yeah. Look here. You want to try something? Sure. Okay. Here you are. Mm-hmm. And uh, here's your mother. Oh, yeah. Did you have one? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, say, you're uh, uh, five to seven years old. What would it be like to tell her about yourself? To share with her how you feel about what's going on? What? Uh, hmm. <laughs> five to seven? Oh my God. Um. I, I I couldn't. I couldn't because come on, what would um, I do to her? I couldn't do that, right? Because what would it do? Well, she would get uh, worried or upset. She'd get worried. Come on, more. And scared. Scared. Yeah. Go ahead, more. Um, Would it be a fender? Would it offend her? Look, she's worried. She's she'd scared. She'd be offended. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. What scares her when you show what's going on within yourself and share it with her? Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking of a good thing that I told her once that did this. Good. Good. So. What happened? Well, I. Okay. Watch. When hold I was it, about seven. Hold it. Hold it. Red changes, right? Okay, here's the good thing. Or eight, I guess. It was. All right, how old were you? I was eight. Eight, go ahead. And the TV said, you know, call the local TV station and come on down and compete for a contest. So I called and said, I'm coming. I want to be in the contest. And the contest was, you had to yell, and the person who yelled the loudest would win. And so I thought I could probably yell really loud. And so my mother, when I told her I was going, she 
like freaked out. She got really worried. And so, but my father drove me down there with my brother and my girlfriend okay. and dropped no, no, no. us off. Go ahead. So your and, father's in there. Uh-huh. And brother, go ahead. And girlfriend. And the father dropped us off and, let, and went home because he had to go home and drink. Um, and then I was in the audience and I was one of the competitors and my brother and girlfriend were on the other side. And so we all got up and so he took the microphone and went down the line and each of us had to yell, hi ho silver and away. What? Hi ho silver and away. Good. You know? Hi ho silver and away. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, then he got to me and I could hardly speak. My voice was like really low. And I thought, who the hell is this? is that person? It was like, not me. And I thought, what's going on? I, I didn't have my voice. Yeah, yeah. By the way, what, did it, what effect did it have when you told your mother that, that she looked scared and worried? She was like saying, oh, no, you can't do that. Or... Um, Come on, you can't do that more. Or... I don't know, some like trying to say it can't happen or something. But it was like going to happen the next day or the next afternoon, that what, afternoon or something. What would happen if you do that after? Is that what you're saying? No, it was... No, but, It was going to happen that afternoon. No. It was like you call in the morning and no, you come no, that no, afternoon. No, and, no. and I had called and made it, a, made it happen. And so when she was objecting, I was like thinking, well... It's already in the plan. You, you can't stop it now. Um, but, hey, come on. You but, carried what she said. You can't do that. And what right. happened? Right. I couldn't do that. That's right. What does that mean? Yeah, that's how it works. How, what does that mean? So I got the father to take us when he got home. Um, I lived out her prediction. Her, that's right. Her right. mandate. You yeah. can't do that. What, what is it you can't do? So I went through the motions of doing yeah, it, yeah. but the, yeah. the heart of it I couldn't do. Yeah. So she... When you were sharing something you wanted to do with yeah. her, to tell her how much you wanted to do it, uh, that had quite a profound effect, didn't it? Well, it... I had already called and made the plan. And then I came into the kitchen and said, guess what? No, go ahead. I'm going to be on TV. You know, I've, I've already done it. So I'm telling her after the fact. And at that point, she said, oh, no, you can't do that. What, what, is, is she, uh, what, is, what would you say she's doing to you at that moment? What do you say? That is so powerful. And she did it so quickly. I'm sure glad I called before I told her, <laughs> right? Why do you think this had such a profound effect on your whole life? She told you what she really thought about you. How often did she do that? Right. Hey. Well, you know, She's sharing something with you, what, what you can't do. She's worried. Yeah. She's scared. Yeah. And, you know, her, her fear was like, although I, I think she was trying to make it personal, which it ended up being, but she was kind of like saying, like, the whole uni the universe doesn't work this way. You know, it was kind of a whole view of the, the world. Like, you just can't do stuff like that. You can't just get on the phone and make arrangements like that. She's None revealing a truth about the universe to you. Right. Right? It's well, what do you think of this? Well, I do have a problem voicing my everything. Yeah, yeah, I think it may And when I do, I feel bad about it, so. Yeah, just like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, what kind of a person is she doing that? What would you call her at that moment? What she's doing? What's she doing to you? What name would you put on her? Mm. I'll help. Okay? A helpful mother. Now, you do it. What fits? Well, you know, I want to say, I guess I want to save her and say she's just reacting. She's just reacting? Doing what to you? What is that doing to you? It's undermining oh, my success. She's Evan. an undermining woman at that moment. Well, no yeah. matter how much good she may do in any other way, at this moment, she's undermining you. Yeah, by giving voice to all that. Yeah, yeah. By the way, if you were willing to reveal that in public, you might say more about what's going on in the house. Does she have any reason to be cautious and fear you're sharing with the world what's going on in your own home? Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh. Curious, isn't it? Yeah. What, what do you make of it? It seems so innocuous. You mean un unimportant and superficial, innocuous? No, it seems so powerful, but so powerful. such a small comment. Like, for her to just say, you can't do that. Hey, that could be that powerful. But this has great power, right? Is that right? Yeah. From a few words. From her at this time. Well, and also, like, they didn't come with me and sit in the audience. Like, I'm going to be on TV, right? You'd think they'd come and participate. Yeah. No. They, they didn't even come. They didn't even come. No, it's like... They didn't come. want to see it. Yeah. So they, too, didn't want to see it. Right. Must. So what if it turns out that these few words have this great power to affect your whole life? What would that mean to you? Is that rather curious? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Let me do it again. Huh? Yeah. Why? Well, because she raised me reading that stupid book about the train that said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And then she says, you can't do that? That's right. It's like, wow. What does that tell you then? She's reading something and doing something else. Yeah. What? Betraying the teacher? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can do it, but you better not reveal yourself. Now, what you want, what you think, what you want to do. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm. It, yeah, is that what the message is? Like, don't do something on your own like that. And could it be? Yeah, it seems like it was more that. It wasn't like, oh. don't, don't reveal the house. It no. was more like, no. you just can't... Reveal yourself. Yeah, you can't just say do what, what you, you want. Say what you want, do what you want. Yeah, that's all. Everything else is okay. And carry it out, actually yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, and carry it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what have you paid for this teaching in your life? And then I never talked about it either afterwards. Well, you're doing it now. Right. Yeah. Yeah, right. In fact, I felt badly about talking about it. How about now? Well, now I can talk about it. How do you feel about talking about it now then? Well... You're violating her teaching, aren't you? Right now. Yeah. How does it feel? 
violating a whole lifetime of teaching. I struggle with that one, Pardon? giving voice. I struggle with that one, giving uh, voice what, to... I, what do you think about this discussion? Carrying out what I... Well, you're revealing quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's nice to think that there's something like this I can think about and refer to and consider as the beginning of that. Because I just thought it was something about me. No. Yeah. Then maybe you no longer have to pretend you're not there. <laughs> Don't pretend that I'm not there. <laughs> That's a good one. What's this going to do to your desire to learn? You're going to see, aren't you? Are you learning something from this? Difficult to say, right? We're just talking. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? That's a good one. Thanks, Pierre. Good stuff. Take a break. What? Take a break. Take a break. Yeah. How loud? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Well, I will have to read it. All right. Go ahead. Take your time out. Yeah. I said I was going to. Oh, thank you. Oh, at 507, good. I'm make a deal, though, because uh, I really want feedback if you're going to Of course. It. Okay. Yeah. Sunday, if you want to join us. Sunday at 7 o'clock? Yeah. Where at? Uh, either David's or Virginia's, we'll I don't know which. Oh, yes, I sure will. Or after it, or yeah. either way. Oh, good. Is this for some school? No, so oh, I've, your been, own. I've been studying it with a couple of guys in the group. Okay, Jeff, okay, yeah. okay. But it's not going. Is it connected with any school? No. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Fine. Are you going to do Elvar Stream? I'm asking no. because I'm going to loan him. No. Here he is. He Where is he? Gave a hand out. Oh, there he is. I know he did. Yeah. Uh, this took so much. So I, I'd like to do that Monday morning. Okay. Okay. There is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Are you going to be here tomorrow? No. Uh, something is happening that's ruining the whole day. I mean, an obligation. Is, <laughs> I mean, an obligation. Is there any more of those handouts? Sir? The handouts? Do you have another I, I don't have another copy. Perhaps you can share some of them.
coffee? Ah, I think they're sharing. Oh, he has an electronic. There's one there. Uh, I took uh, all the time today on one dream because I thought it was so significant. All right? So uh, there are other dreams, but I, I want to hold it up. That one was enough for a while. Okay? So I'll do it Monday morning. Thank you. Great. Look at that. You have a coffee? No, I just I was looking for what I was drinking. Ah, your bottle of lemon? Ah, here it is. Curious set of questions. Okay, I haven't read them. Huh? I haven't read them. Yet. Okay, okay, go ahead. Got the question? Yeah,
All set? Well, I was just looking at the fifth paragraph. It says, say, in general, would you say that whatever contains like members, that the whole that they participate in, and I'm going to skip represents, either benefits each member or does not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I was thinking on the does not would be like being part of a gang. They could be thought of as a whole. Yeah. But you don't get any benefit. But are there some holes that they can join that do benefit them? Yeah, like a, like a noetic society type of... Okay. We've got to be careful. Then it's possible that... So there are some 